What's up everyone? It's Lens Addict here and today I'm going to be unboxing the Pro Display XDR. Now this is the biggest product I think I've ever unboxed and it is proving to be quite the challenge. I'll also be unboxing the Pro Stand which I will show later as they cannot fit in the frame while I'm holding them. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Here are the specs on the outside of the box. These are quite the specifications, if I say so myself. The box, other than that, doesn't really have much else. It's all white and just a little carry handle on the top. And there's nothing on this side. Nothing on the bottom either. Just the words Pro Display XDR. And then it's kind of like a Apple silhouette of the, the monitor. So we have a pull tab, let's give it a pull. Alright, we will pop the lid and uh, there we go. There's some iconography showing you how to attach the stand and the monitor together. And then it looks like we have some cables. Let's have a quick look at them. Oh, nice. There's a cloth to clean the monitor, as well as some cables in here. Very nice. There's your power cable. So let's have a look at the cloth. It's a very nice cloth. Apple hasn't uh, sent cloths in their packaging for quite some time. Looks like there's no pull tab. I think you just slide this off. Yeah, that's it. And then we have the cloth. I wonder if it's got the Apple logo on it. Oh, it does. Trust Apple to do this. Has the Apple logo on the cloth. <laughs> Far out. So here is the cable that you connect the Mac to the monitor to. So it looks like it's a braided Thunderbolt 3 cable. And then we have the power cable here. Braided power cable. Here we have the kettle plug connector or the kettle prong connector here. And it looks like to be your standard cable. It's braided so this bends a lot more easily than some of the other Apple cables I've seen. Uh, which is nice. It feels very well made. And it looks very nice too with the braiding. I must say this packaging is super well engineered. You can, like the way that this all clicks in. And this feels so solid. For something that's made out of cardboard, they've done a really good job. Alright, let's take this cover off the display. This looks to be the display itself. Let's take it out of its cover. Oh, this is a heavy display. But there it is. So this is the Pro Display XDR on the back. There's a cover covering the Apple logo. <laughs> Not sure why. I guess they really want to make sure that it does. Oh, it's because the Apple logo is glossy. Wow, they really want to make sure that it stays glossy. <laughs> no scratches allowed. Um, and you can see here, there's a pretty cool little centerpiece. And then the really cool pattern on the back. Very, very cool. Looks like there's still something in the box. So we'll have a look. Looks like it slides out. Wow. This is probably all the warranty information. Wow. These are the biggest Apple stickers I've ever seen. They're massive. There's an actual book. Wow, oh, look at this. It's like a hard, it's a book with like a hard cover. <laughs> I've never seen this on an Apple product. 
Welcome to Play Dis Pro Display XDR. Ooh. This is awesome. It has a, but this is kind of just, I don't know. Oh wow, it goes into the backlighting. That's cool. I've never seen that on the Apple website. Wow, that's cool. But it doesn't really tell you how to use it. Oh, spoke too soon. Here's an owner's guide. Now let's have a look. So that's what comes in the box. And then here's how to connect it to the monitor. Confirm that it's attached before releasing. <laughs> Don't let go, otherwise you'll break your monitor. Oh, uh, cool. Rotate the display. So you press the latch on the back. That's cool. These are some really good guides, I must say, actually. Um, I can't say I'll be detaching it, but it's nice that they, uh, that happens and you can do that. This is for the visa mount, which I didn't get. Oh, and a little QR code to view more. Nice. That is satisfying to read. I'm happy with that. And here's your regulatory information. Pause it if you want to have a big read. It's more on the back. And here is another piece of paper with the warranty. One year warranty, that's pretty weak for a monitor that costs that much. I think they should give at least two to three years, personally. I would say in Australia that Australian consumer law would probably cover you. I think this is just the same warranty information in different languages. So here we have the uh, Pro Stand. Uh, they can see some iconography, and other than that, it's a blank box. It's a white box device. <laughs> and uh, it looks like the stand has a serial number as well, as you can see. Look, there's nothing underneath just white. I think we can probably open this one pretty quickly. wonder if it comes with Apple stickers as well. Let's find out. All right. Let's start the peel. Oh, that's cool. That's that's a interesting experience unboxing. And there's the stand. Alright. The stand lifts out. It's quite a heavy stand. Far out. Oh. Well there you go, there's the stand. And in the box we have some more paper. Let's have a look at that. Other than that, there's nothing else to this box. That's it. All right, close it off. And here is the stand itself. So there's some connectors. I'm assuming this is how it magnetically attaches. Ah, so pulling that pulls the connectors in but it makes the top one stay. Interesting. All right, and then, oh, it is so hard to push down. Maybe I'm just weak. <laughs> well, there's the design of the stand. Let's take off the covering. It's almost unboxed. There's not much to unbox on this stand, so that lifts off. Cool. And then we have some anti-scratch covers on the side, maybe? I don't know, let's start the peel. Oh. 
What happens here? Where does the peel go? <laughs> Maybe we'll peel here. Ah, oh, that makes more sense. And then... And then... <laughs> another one. All the way to the top. And then... That's it. Alright, there's the stand. That was the easiest unboxing. There's nothing to even turn on. It's just a big piece of aluminium. And, um, well, I think there might be something underneath. Let's have a look. Oh, there you go. The stand as a serial number. So, let's see what's in the box. Oh, another one of these paper manuals. Let's have a look. Let's have a read. Pro stand. I think it's going to be much of the same <laughs> of the previous book. Let's see. Well, it's not in English as much as the other one was. Interesting. Wonder why that is. I bought it from the Australian Apple store. Oh well, don't really mind. Uh, assuming now's our user manual. Yeah, this is definitely not an English manual. <laughs> That's alright though, I think I can understand. Uh, I wonder why they've sent me a non-English manual though. That's very strange. Um, there's Thunderbolt 3. It's pretty much the same as that last manual, really. And um, let's see what else we have here. Some more. Oh, another manual. Maybe this one's in English. I don't know. Maybe they just have one. The, yeah, this one appears to be English. Hmm. Nice. I've never seen that before, where they give you two manuals. And then we have... This is kind of the same as the other book. I'm assuming... No, it's, it's like the other book, where again, it's not really that different. Oh well. It doesn't really matter. I can understand the gist of it. Alright, that's the book over. Now yeah, let's see if we get some more Apple stickers. No more Apple stickers. Just a warranty. So if you just buy the Pro Stand, you do not get an Apple sticker. There you go. So this is how the Pro Display XDR attaches to the base. So let's have a look. I hope you really enjoyed that unboxing video of the XDR display. I've been using it for the past day now and I've really enjoyed it. It's been uh, so much fun to use and it's just so amazing the brightness and the colours. It's going to be hard to get rid of it actually. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm really going to miss it because I can't justify a 10 grand monitor. There's just so much. There's better experiences in life to be had, as good as this monitor is. <laughs> but um, it's so good, and uh, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. 
Uh, it's worked flawlessly and dis displayed content. I don't see any ghosting. The viewing angles are good. The user experience is really easy. I kind of wish it worked with Windows. Maybe I just need a graphics card that has USB-C, but I don't. And there's no other input other than Thunderbolt 3. Uh, and when you plug in an iPad, uh, it's kind of suboptimal. It doesn't seem to do HDR on it either. So it's pretty much a Mac only display. But I mean, if you're, if you've got 10 grand to drop, you're probably, probably pretty serious. You're probably not going to be connecting an iPad to it. <laughs> as pro as the iPad is, uh, it's not, it's not a, let's just put it this way. Most professionals that make films don't use iPads to, uh, color grade the film. <laughs> it's possible and it may be in the future and I'm all for it. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you enjoyed and you want to see more. Like it if you liked it. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike and um, leave a comment why. Otherwise, have a good afternoon and, or a good morning and peace out. See you all next time.